<laughs> Hello viewers, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. I have the house to myself today, so I'm sitting here in the dining room doing this reading for you. I wanted to come on quickly and just, you know, pursue that question that I asked yesterday. So I felt there would be one or two Supreme Court justices going. Um, someone came on and said, well, they'll need to have two thirds of the majority of the Senate to get rid of them. And that's probably uh, not possible. Well, there are other ways that this could happen. Indeed, uh, there are many ways that this could happen. The first way is that somebody could be uh, pressured to resign over serious evidence that is presented that would be then go through uh, the threat of a, an impeachment where the evidence is absolutely black and white and their reputation is tarnished or they stand down. The other option is that there has been a procedural legal anomaly, uh, something that could trip certainly this latest confirmation uh, and up, process up, nomination and confirmation process up. The other option, so we've got a lot of options that could occur, is that an existing justice either retires or the in the in the case of the elderly justices, uh, some are positing may pass away. So when we're triggered and we are, it was like a kick in the guts. I'm an empath and I felt that for you yesterday. It was, the reading that I did was incredibly painful, which was why I followed up very quickly for you. Now, uh, with another reading to get you, get it, get you looking up and focusing on a Biden-Harris win. The ACA, I want to address that. Without a doubt, those major arcanas were very worrying. But this, again, could uh, be presenting um, different scenarios. The, I'm not always correct. So the other alternative is that they do it and there is quickly a an expansion of Medicare to include pre-existing conditions. Uh, it could be that they uh, don't even pursue that case or they adjourn it because of the pandemic, because the election results are so far, uh, you know, so far for Biden that this action is being brought by a Republican president or initiated by a Republican president, that they're going to adjourn it for some time or whatever whatever occurs. There are other alternatives, but that tower card there, this is a major, major, major issue and question that will be coming up for the current Supreme Court in the next little while, in the short term. So... Let's have a look at the question, the general question, will any justices step down in the next year or two? Now, this isn't even considering what Biden might do with a commission, a Supreme Court SCOTUS commission. I firmly believe, intuitively, I've seen it clairvoyantly, the Supreme Court moves toward the centre, however that happens. All right, let's have a look. So... Will any of the justices step down in the next year to two? Will any of the justices? So I'm getting uh, some clear audience here. Illegal, illegal. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm hearing, illegal. Okay, so what is this about, please? What is this about? There has been something presented to somebody. There could be behind the scenes behind the scenes machinations that have been uh, that has been that have been illegal which have led to the appointment of justices it's not over yet don't you think for one moment when she stood on that balcony with Trump that this is over yet it's not okay so so illegal something is illegal here. All right, so will any justices, for whatever reason, any justices step down? Any justices step down in the next year or two? And will any of the justices on the American Supreme Court step down in the next year or two? I think it could even be Barrett uh, as well. So we've got the Eight of Pentacles. So we've got some kind of, again, this is an earth energy, Taurian energy. 
something could be coming out soon around the 31st of October as well. This is Pentacles money. It could be shown that, that Barrett, for example, received some kind of contribution during her career from somebody that she didn't declare all that goes against her. I have always seen, and the last two readings, the same information has been given to me. She is going to drag the Supreme Court's reputation through the mud. Now we've got the Four of Wands, the Four of Wands in the challenge position. So the work of the Republicans will be challenged by the Four of Wands, which is the community. It's my card for the Democrats. It's it's something in this card. This is Nostradamus's Lost Tarot. Something being repaired. Something being repaired. And this is not a happy camper here, sitting here either, looking that they like they should be at work, but they're not, uh, and they're very worried over something. So something is going to be repaired. That they're the supreme, uh, supreme. They're the um the. I guess, the intuition that I get uh, from these signifier cards. We've got the Ace of Swords in the, as the foundation of the reading and sitting atop of that is the Wheel of Fortune. Truth is going to shift something. Truth is going to emerge. Truth is going to emerge. That's the foundation of the reading, a new start based on truth. So we have the Prince of Wands in the past, which is a movement there is a going to be a huge push, a huge push unleashed on the Democratic Party side of politics to examine that Supreme Court and uh, how all of this has been attempted in the last four years. That's a movement starting, a very inspired movement, I would add. Now we have the five of cups in the sky, which is loss, grief, this is, you know, this is, of course, Nostradamus's cards were, uh, these are based on drawings that he left and he lived in the era of the Catholic Church. Um, anyone who hasn't looked at my channeling of Nostradamus should go and have a look. He was not a fan of the, of the church, of the dogma at all. So we've got the five of cups, the king, the pope, uh, really being shut up in some kind of tower with the hair flowing here. There is loss here, loss in the sky. Now we, we've got two aces being drawn here. We've now got the ace of pentacles in the immediate future. So uh, again, this is looking very Supreme Court-like. Um, all also around money. I feel that whatever emerges from Trump, around Trump, in the next year or so, all those investigations that we've all seen, we all know is going to occur, will impact on this question. How is it going to be being seated by a traitor? How is it going to be being seated by a criminal? You see what is occurring with the Supreme Court's reputation or will occur, and it's going to get quite difficult for them. The Nine of Wands boundaries at the moment, battle weary. But this is also putting boundaries up as well. So I see that people are already thinking about how this can be, this can be prevented in the future. The three of Cups in the atmosphere around coming together. This is somebody blowing their horn. This is a rallying cry in this deck. In the Rider Weight, it talks about support, circles of support. So again, you'll see that while a small number of Americans may be crowing about Barrett seating, there is a movement starting, and I'm seeing these orbs moving very quickly about me in this room. They always come through as a validation. The Three of Pentacles in the Hopes and Fears. I think there is some, I've always said there's some dark money involved here. I feel the independence of one or two of those judges will be questioned, and there will be some sort of illegality being 
found out. We have the Two of Pentacles, the crossroads. This is also manipula manipulation. Now, I did feel two justices may go. Two justices may go. One, possibly through ill health, something that would cause this grief and loss, and another through illeg illegality. Okay. Now we have the three of wands, okay? This is be patient, be patient. This is fire energy. This is uh, waiting, waiting for that ship to come in, waiting for that fire to burn, waiting for the work to start, waiting for uh, really what is a an outcome that or is already assured. Yes, the sun card, yes. So, possibly two will go, one to ill health. And again, uh, you know, I don't wish that on anybody. I don't read, you know, I'm not, even though I don't often share what I get when someone is going to pass, I simply see the death card and I make that intuitive call, whether that's related to an ending or whether that's related to a death. Two will go, one through ill health and one because some sort of illegality has been found. Now, this is outside of even the commission that that is uh, instigated by Biden. However, that illegality could be found through that commission's work. Now, at the base of the pack, we have Trump. Whatever comes about uh, out about Trump, the lover's card, the deals he's done, again, Note that wheel of fortune shifting there, the truth. Now, who was it your Martin Luther King said that the arc of justice always bends back to the truth? I'll get the exact saying, but this is the feeling that I'm getting from these cards. We have the Knight of Wands again. Okay, so we've got prince and knight. So this must be the page. Okay, so we've got a movement starting and growing at the base of the pack. And we have the queen of swords and fortune's wheel. So Barrett better, uh, better not get too comfortable because she might be the one that goes through procedural illegality. This five of cups, I'm feeling, could be around someone's ill health. So we have two justices within the next year to two years stepping down for one reason or another from the Supreme Court. If I go one further, we do have the four of cups, an offer being made to somebody. And it doesn't necessarily have to be through impeachment so whichever justice is going or whichever justices are going two will go which will allow one through uh, being forced out and the other possibly through ill health or through overwhelming loss and grief take that however that fits for you so rather than looking down today you know, we've all dealt with the emotions. Uh, we need to look up and look to the future. Someone also posed the question, why is it that, you know, good never wins? Why is it that the corruption uh, always triumphs? And that's because it takes a lot to enforce change. If you're dealing with corruption, which was there before Trump, everywhere across the world, it's endemic. It's the condition we live in. Uh, when it gets, when the, the, the needle, when the pendulum swings too far, we have to bring it back toward the truth. And this is what is occurring now. All right, Nostradamus, some messages for the collective, please, here and the individuals who, uh, like me, <laughs> I put a lot into my readings, a lot of feeling into my readings, and I felt, I felt it yesterday for you. All right, so... That's a good thing. Emotions are, are not something that should be numbed or dampened down. They should be fully expressed. All right, so, but then 
express them and get over it. <laughs> Move on. Look up. Look up. There's a lot to be thankful for. You know, gratitude, manifesting, manifestation energy comes, uh, you know, comes from gratitude and love, uh, positive, optimistic visioning. All right, three uh, messages, please. Nostradamus arose. I'm seeing, if you go back to my, uh, okay, love. He's just, uh, and he's going, he's also showing me the Wheel of Fortune, which was very, very evident in his cards. Uh, love turns that Wheel of Fortune, not hate. And, of course, spirit is love. So love in the heart. Put put love in the heart. Uh, you don't have to dislike or hate her or Kavanaugh or anyone. Put love in your heart and create your vision for the future. That was a lovely orb down the corner there if you want to rewind. All right, so um, hope as well. Three messages, three messages from spirit. So we have new starts. The fool. The fool is leaving the tower and the fool is going on a journey. This is the potential of all things, of all things. We're not imprisoned any longer. The magician. Oh, zero and one. Manifestation energy. Manifesting new starts. Three. The empress card. Abundance abundance, positivity, a good harvest comes right down to that, manifesting new starts, a good harvest. And at the base of the pack, we have the Ace of Cups, the emotional new starts. And out of the cup comes the spirit, comes the spirit. All right. I'm downstairs, the Nostradamus cards I haven't used uh, a lot before, uh, but I'm glad they are on hand today. Um, they are based on his drawings from the 15th century. So, of course, they're containing those religious archetypes. But it's interesting if you look at them really, uh, really closely, you'll see that uh, there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. If I just take this Prince of Wands, because the sun, sun is wands, illumination. This is a bust of a king on what could be easily toppled. And so the Prince of Wands or the Page of Wands has a journey to start. And that journey is toppling this arrogant king that has, whose bust lies on one small, easily toppled plinth. Interesting, interesting cards. All right, so I'll leave that there. Thank you for tuning in uh, today, but I did want to jump on and do a reading for you just to just to let you know that um, things change, things change. And while yesterday may have been a victory or, you know, a regressive step, um, the future is in, in our hands and it's there to be changed. That king is there to be toppled. I did shuffle. Ah, the burning tower. Yes, perhaps that is what is coming for the king. All right. Eight of wands. It will come very quickly. <laughs> there is the horn there, the angel, the angel getting ready to blow the horn. <laughs> so change is coming. Change is coming. It's not necessarily all going to be Donald Trump's way. All right. Thank you for tuning in uh, again and thank you for uh, your support of the channel. And I hope that reading clarifies, clarifies things a bit. All right. Thank you.